All right, guys, this is one of my weird little maps I go to um, for all my my little uh, seer, seafaring adventures. So um, one of the reasons I brought you in here now, and yes, uh, the lagoon is definitely not as safe as it used to be. Um, now the sharks have moved in since the since the studio update, and uh, so we've got sharks and we've got... Uh, saltwater crocodiles uh not to mention the stick and flying dutchman is in port over here right now so this is uh this is probably not a uh not the best little lagoon that you would uh that you would want to take a dip in um at this time but nonetheless we've got um I i've kind of retooled the uh, the sea duck a little bit. I've uh, now that we've got the uh, with the adventure pack with the uh, with the propellers and all that. I thought it was a really good time to uh, speaking of going into doing the vehicles uh, to get in here and redo the sea duck. So I'll I'll put the I'll leave the old version on there because the old version it has no DLC. So if you're if you still wanted to use that, you know I'll put that on there. But this new uh, DLC equipped version um, will also be on there that I just think looks a uh, just just looks a lot better. Um, I've got to give a big shout out. But speaking of sharks, to my buddy Dirk Techno, um, he built the the little shark here, uh, Bruce uh, Brucey, a long long time ago, and uh, I put it up here at uh, Quince Shark Fishing. Uh, his little his little expedition there, and he also made the orca. So he did an absolutely incredible job on the orca. I mean, way way back months ago. I think he built this before the, maybe even before the actual game came out. He may have done that. Um, may have done that in the beta, and then of course I have built us the uh, I built us a little anti shark cage. Anti shark cage. You go inside the cage. Cage goes in the water, you go in the water, shark's in the water. Our shark. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. So yeah, I got that in place. And um, yeah, so like I said, this, this whole little map um, is just kind of uh, one of my little uh, experiment maps. So I don't really know um, as far as like what kind of purpose this map will serve in the future. Somebody made this. Uh, somebody made this a few months ago too. I'll, I, I don't have the name pulled up right now, but this is an awesome little crane that I thought fit perfect right here um, in the little boat repair slip. But so yeah, um, like I said, I, I don't know um, really what I will end up doing with this. Um, but I know when I'm thinking of building boats, it, this is really weird. And maybe you guys can kind of relate to this. Maybe you have your uh, your, your certain kind of maps that, that you like to build on. But um, one thing about this map is if I'm in a, uh, if I'm in a shark, you know, a, a shark boat type of seaplane mood, coming here and building this stuff, um, actually building it over the water um, is just, it, it totally kind of gets the, uh, gets the creative juices flowing other than just like opening up a blank map and trying to build like a, uh, you know, one of these seaplanes over the blank map. So I think that is one thing that, that I really like, I really enjoy by keeping this map around and coming back here is, um, just designing some of this, uh, some of this water stuff. And it really just, um, it just really gives you that sense of visualization and you know, what, what you guys would use this stuff for, like as far as the blueprints, um, you know, just as far as the blueprints and all that stuff goes. So I thought it was, uh, I think it's a really interesting map and, and it's one of those maps where I've spent a lot of time on it, but that is, um, that's what it's like, th that's what the purpose of the map is to help me, um, get new ideas going. So maybe if you don't have something going like that, um, maybe try to get you, you know, just try to build you something where, um, or, or that you 
that the that the ideas come easy with or you can you know maybe better tell stories with and that is definitely mermaid lagoon here for me anytime i want to do a pirate type deal or like i said thinking of a new ship or plane i typically come to this map and i just glide around for a few minutes i come out here in the open water and uh, yeah typically just just start building at the water level so Anyways, guys, yeah, I will, uh, I'll go ahead and jump on out of here. Just wanted to give you my thoughts on that and, uh, and just let you get a sneak peek real quick of the Sea Duck, the new and improved DLC Sea Duck. And um, yeah, so uh, anyways, give me a thumbs up if you end up enjoying this video and subscribe for more Planet Coaster content. Go check out Dirk Techno's uh, workshop if you're building, uh, maybe when I do my Jaws thing, um, I could definitely see using the Orca 1 um, as far as that goes, and um, yeah, that, that, that has its own kind of little challenges, you know, getting the, getting the facades right, and um, you know, just seeing how I can make the sharks work, and uh, but yeah, that's a, that is a video for another time. Thank you guys for stopping by and hanging out with me, and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you. See ya. Skeleton on my left wrist in the soul place. Okay. On my knees.